Thank you for giving me your time and thank you for watching another one of my videos. This is part 16 in the Gears 5 collection. And if you saw part 15, I was hoping to do the achievement, but somewhere along the lines, I showed you where the relic weapon was for the claw and for the shotgun, the G Nasher. I, I'm not even sure the exact, if that's how it's pronounced or if it's another way. Then towards the end of the video, I also showed you where the Talon was. But somewhere along the lines, I lost the claw, and I don't know how I lost it. So in this video here, what we're going to do is we're going to go and find all of the relic weapons right now before we continue on with any other part of the video. Okay, so there is a total of 10 relic weapons in Act 3. And folks, let me tell you something. Don't believe everything you read online. There is websites out there that says you can't collect these relic weapons until chapter three. Act three, chapter three. And that's not correct. Let me show you right here. Let me get out of this map. And you're gonna see we're in Rocket Plan, okay? Rocket Plan is Act Two. And if I come out of here and I get off of this thing right here. And I hit my pulse. There's a relic weapon right there. And I'm not in chapter three. So folks, don't you can't always trust everything you read. Just you know, pay attention to that. You know. Yes, it might say chapter three. Try it in chapter two. Try it in chapter one. Try it as soon as you have access to that area. As soon as you have access to that area, you should be able to collect that weapon. Excuse me. Now, in part 15, because there was a hiccup, what I want to do is... I, re I reloaded the checkpoint. Now, I've already got... Let's see here uh, that's the MK over here we've already got the Nasher you see the, the Nasher relic I already picked that up I'm gonna show you where that is you can see I have the claw but if I drop the claw and if you don't know how to drop a weapon simply if you hit your d-pad wherever that is located at like if I hold up on the d-pad now wait a few seconds and just keep pressing down on the up arrow of your d-pad it will drop that okay maybe it won't do it for the flashbang let's try it for the claw okay it's gonna make a liar out of me okay let me maybe you have to have let's try it with the full weapon Oh, huh, that's strange. Midnight wouldn't know. Where was that, bud? That's strange. Oh, there you go. I guess it just took a little longer. That was strange. It took quite a while for it to, for it to drop. And you notice it does say relic in the title of the weapon, too. But anyway, let's go over here. We're gonna put the I wanna put the relic weapon Secure. back on here because I don't want to lose it. Again, and this is the MK we got here. Okay, you can't store two weapons on here. Now we're gonna go over here, and this is gonna be our first weapon. You see it right here. Now I can tell you this thing burns through ammunition. So I really don't recommend you using this weapon. You know, pick it up, but you do need to at least pick it up, and you are going to want to hold on to it because the one of the achievements is there's an achievement for finding 
all 17 relic weapons. But there's also an achievement for having three relic, relic, three relic weapons in your possession at one time. But uh, before I do that here, let's pick the pick this one here up first. Let's see how much ammo do we have. Let's make sure this is full. Okay, so it's 387. So it went from 387 to 351, so it shot 36 rounds. Now watch this, folks. This is insane. The amount of bullets this thing is going to shoot is absolutely insane. Hundred and eighty. It went through almost two hundred rounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here. This is what I recommend you doing is putting this weapon on the skiff. Cause you're not gonna want to hold on to this weapon. You know, pick up your non-relic weapon, place your relic weapon on the skiff. Or well, it, oh, it won't let you stow. Oh, that's messed up. You can't stow a pistol. Okay, I guess we just won't be able to use a pistol. Okay, well, I was gonna say stow, stow the the relic pistol on the skiff, but it won't let you. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. And what I'm actually going to do is, because we're going to 10 different locations, I'm going to cut the travel out. And so, again, we got all this map here we're going to cover. So I'll get to our next location, and all this here ain't even unlocked yet. But once I get through this bridge right here, you see I've already unlocked the bridge. That's why it says train bridge on it. Once you get to this area here, there's a bridge that comes up. And, and it gives you access to this back area here. So, but before you get to this bridge here, then you don't see this crossing right here. But once you once you go through this crossing, then there is another. Actually, I think it's right here, a point of of interest along this line here somewhere. But you'll see what I'm talking about as we get to the relics. So we'll go ahead and move on to our next relic, and I'll be right back. Oh, before we take off, I forgot to show you something. You're looking for the Gears logo, the red gear, as you can see it right here. Wherever you see this logo, there is a relic weapon nearby. So when you get to a, a particular location, you want to find that logo, and that's where you're going to find your relic weapon at. Okay, here's the location of the second one. And actually, let me go ahead and get off the map here. You can see right here is our symbol. We've got the gate right here you can use as a location spot. And not for sure what this is over here offhand. Just some round buildings with a satellite dishes on top of them. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because this is the G Nastro location. I'm going to go ahead and splice in the footage of where we came here last time and picked up that relic weapon. I'll splice it in right now. Okay, I'm going to be adding the audio to this clip here. I want to talk about this ability right here, the pulse ability. This is the must. You need to have this selected if you're going to be searching for these relic weapons because you've got this one here, you're gonna to need to have this on locked, slash upgrade, however you wanna look at it, detect pickups, because that gives you the ability to see ammo and see weapons that are on the ground. 
as you can see right here you don't have any clue where that weapon is as soon as I hit my pulse ability you can see the little V on the ground it tells me exactly where that weapon is otherwise I'd have to search this entire hillside for this weapon and look how dark it is here folks until I got close to it and I can see the flash of that weapon it would be really hard for me to see that now unfortunately I forgot to store one of my weapons on the skip so I had to run all the way back to the skip to store that weapon which was a real pain in the butt in place but again it is what it is and I'll run back up here and pick up the Nasher now what this does is the Nasher shoots out pellets when it fires and it changes that shell into a slug so Nasher is one of the one of my favorite weapons I got three um, guns I like to use in the game the MK which is the one that I stored when I want to get the Nasher the Nasher and I also like to use the Lancer some of the other ones I really don't care for some of them just have way 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 too much kick but there you go folks so now that is number two down we will go ahead and move on to our next location and pick up number three a few shots here so you can see what it looks like again not much to see it just shoots a slug as opposed to the pellets so there you can see that uh, this is the location for that weapon again don't forget pick up three relic, relic weapons hold on them hold on to them have them in your inventory at the same time and that will unlock an achievement something else here let me go ahead and throw this up on your screen um, and during the making of this video I decided to put this map together and this is actually going to be two different maps here is that map that way if you want to go ahead and use it go ahead my videos my channel is not about the views folks a lot of YouTubers say who it's not. My channel is not about to, my my channel is not about the views. Yes, I like the views and all that, but well, we you know my channel is about helping like the fellow gamer. A lot of them. So here's the map. Take a look at it. I'm gonna mute the game audio so there's nothing in the background. And here is your first seven maps or seven maps. Excuse me, seven relic weapons on this side of the map. So as you can see right now, we've already done the one on the far left. And one at the top. So we're going to go straight down to the south. Hit that one there. Then we'll hit the one to the right. We're basically going to be just keep going, doing an up and down pattern. After we get that one to the far right hand side. That gate that I mentioned earlier. That is lifted up. And once we go into it. It's going to unlock another area. That is where we will get our last three um, relic weapons. And that way you will have all 10 relic weapons for this portion of the map. And again, if that's what you're at this video for, awesome. I don't know if there's going to be any campaign added to this video or not, or if this video is going to be a solely relic weapon, excuse me, weapon video only. I'll make that decision once I get to the end of this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Just like last time, we are going to move on to our next location which again is going to be straight south and once we get there I will pick it back up okay here we are again you can see the symbol right here that we are looking for and this is going to be the claw Shrubinizo, we call it. Well, really, we are really close to our last location, folks. Really close to it. This bush right here, this is where you will find the claw. Again, I will go ahead and splice that footage in right now. Can you 
you see where we are located at here. Again, you know, hopefully this map helps you out. I do a lot of maps and stuff, uh, certain challenges for Fortnite um, when it calls for a map. So this isn't nothing new to me. Actually, the markers I'm using used to have an airplane in the middle of them. Um, so I just took and removed the airplane and stuck the Gears uh, logo in the center of it. But I wanted to use something bright that would stick out um, with the dark background. So now we're going to go ahead and move south just to the left of that check mark right there. Which is going to put us down this area right here. And again, I will see you when I get there. And here we are. And if anybody wants to know, there's two reasons why I'm not showing the travel from point A to point B. Because there's small things you can do, like right here it says City Ruins. You know, the purpose of this is to show you the relic weapons, and if we pick up on the campaign, that's fine. If I decide to do a side missions video like I did with the Waterworks, that's another thing. Um, it's up to you if you want to take and go from relic to relic and do the side missions that's on you it all depends on how you want to discover it me personally if I wasn't doing this video and I was going from relic to relic I would do the side missions along the way so I don't have to go back and do them but for the purpose of this video I'm specifically only doing the um, the relics for you guys and then I'm gonna have to go back throughout the entire map and do all the side missions except for the waterworks because as you can see, City Ruins, um, I just passed one. That's the reason why there's a question mark on it, because I'm not doing it. Right here we are. Here is the location. When you come across City Ruins, that's what this right here is. You can see the flag up there. And we was just right back over in this area here, I believe. We bait when basically just came straight across the desert over to this way. I'm going to go in here, go through the gate. There is a dead body over here. Right next to this dead body, you will find the Hamburst Relic. So now with this here, we are, we are actually going to unlock the achievement. So see what we got here. So I will go ahead and because I like my MK. I'm going to go ahead and swap out the claw. So now I have the Hamburst Relic That's weapon. Working. I've got the Talon weapon. So when I come back over here to the skiff, I'm going to pick up my Nasher uh, shotgun. Which is on the other side, I believe. Right here. And this should give us the achievement. And there we go. And it's a diamond achievement at that. Equip three weapons at one time. We're passing by those trucks again. Might be worth a quick check in. So again, so that's one way to do it. It, 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 it can be a whole lot easier doing it. I showed you um, three weapons you can get really fast after you start chapter uh, two don't need to wait to chapter 3. Chapter 3, there's a lot of stuff you do in chapter 2 before you even get to chapter 3, folks. So, and you can possibly even do this in chapter 1, okay? It's up to you. It all depends on how you play the game. But again, I am going to go ahead because I don't want to lose this, so I will put that back down here. And I'll put this back down here. Exactly, I'll be, be back, back to them later. later. Now let's take a look at our map. So again, you can see exactly where we're at. And so now we are going to be moving up by the water plant, which or the pump station, excuse me, the water plant. And again, once I get up there, 
I will um, pick it back up. If you have not seen the video, um, I tell you what, let me check my file here. I've got a little spreadsheet. The waterworks is on part 14 on my channel. Part 14 shows you all three um, challenges. This one here, this one here, and this one here. And there is a special, special, special thing that you get after you do all those. You have to watch the video to find out, folks. It's worth the watch. Don't want to spoil it for you. I don't want to um, put unnecessary spoilers because you're watching this video for something else, not for that. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, we're here now, and I have to admit, folks, when I came looking for this one here, this one took me a little bit of time to find. Because you got all these cars and everything you got to look at. Then, right here is the logo we're looking for. And right here is our Marksa Relic Weapon. Which I've already got this one here. So... I'll take that. So now I got the relic weapon and that one. So that now instead of this being a regular shot, here is our here is a regular shot. Now it's an automatic. Which again I absolutely love this gun. And there's three three favorite guns I have in the game. It's the Lancer, which I call I call the mark of the MK because as you can see it says MK on it. But uh, the Marks the, and then uh, the Nasser. So again, I, I will actually be, so I don't take and get confused. I am going to drop this one here. See it. That time, it dropped the weapon really fast. Remember earlier, it took me forever to drop that weapon. Okay, so now this one here is taken care of. We are gonna move on to our next location, which is over by, what is this, Sarah? The Rocket Hangar. And it's right along this wall right here is where we, we, we will be going it's sitting on top of a rock and again I'll see you in a sec Sarah Pulse Jack Pulse yeah, right there it is yep yeah, you can see that right there's the gears logo you cannot reach this weapon from the top you gotta go right here to get it so again, being we only got one weapon, this will allow us to pick it up. Actually, that's a um, two-shot burst weapon. I can deal with that. Especially, man, with that that talon going through all those rounds. Sometimes that pistol really saves your butt so again that is all of the let me clear this it's actually over here is where we, where we was at so again the um, that is the first seven of these and we are going to now go over close to the gate well, we're going to pick up some more. So let's move our map over. Yeah, it should be good right there. Yep, that should be good right there. I will see you in just a second. Okay, here's our next location. You can see. I wish you could zoom in a little closer. 
but you got again you got the train bridge right here um, I will I don't like giving spoilers but uh, you're, you're gonna see it anyway I can't avoid it you see your symbol right here okay you're gonna have things pop out of the ground here there's absolutely no way to avoid it right here is your overkill re relic shit we got company let's take him out Set here in a second. I don't know if they're going to keep spawning while you're here or not, so we'll find out. Yeah, it looks like they might just keep. Nope. All right, area's clear. Okay, they don't. So. The rain out here reminds me of Oxy X, back in the Deadlands. Oh shit. Unfortunately, yeah, there is no way to avoid you seeing that. What's beetle soup? Well, you take some water, boil it, then toss so it. it oh, so. I didn't pick up the weapon last time I was here, and they activated it, so it wasn't like um, by picking up a weapon they get activated, because obviously you've seen the weapon there, and you saw before that if I had picked the weapon up, it was not there. So, again, right here is your symbol, and here we are on the map. So now we're going to move through the bridge. And I will pick it up again at our next location. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's no man's As you can see right here, they're raising the bridge. There it goes. So well, they haven't dropped it yet. That's good. Gives you access right? to the other side. Here we're at a cargo ship, new location found. On this side right here, let me spin this around. You can see the Gears logo right there in the corner. Just want to go back here. You can get off right here. Walk up here. And this is your Lancer Relic. Swap it out with the overkill. I'm taking this. And it stuns your enemy with a rifle butt. Uh, but I've heard people complain about this on YouTube that they it didn't seem to work on all enemies, only certain enemies. So we'll have to see how that goes. But again, here's your location for that. As you can see, the cargo ship wreckage, there is another site that you can work on. Um, but again, I'm not doing any of this. I'm only working on the uh, relics. I wish they would give you, like Daniel says, collectibles and components. Being that there's hidden relics in the game, it would have been nice if they had weapon relics and how many you had, like, you know, chapter and total. Uh, it would have been nice. Or even if they just put the act. So you knew in this act you've collected you know, this number of them. Because the information I've got, there's a total of 10 in there. And I think we've got them all but one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hopefully uh, my information is correct. But again, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next location. And we will pick it up when we get there.
Okay, after you make your way through the storm, you're going to come across this crashed condor site. Just make your way around the site, and what you're looking for is the wing of the plane. And right here is the wing of the plane. And locate it right here. You will find your next item. I'll swap those back. I'm ready to go. Now I do believe I forgot a item. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way all the way back folks. We are right here. See the crash condor site? That's where we are located at right now. I've got to make my way all the way back over to here because I think I forgot this item right here for you guys. So I will take and make my way back and go pick up that item. I think we was up here and I thought I went south instead of going south I went east. So yeah, so I will pick the video back up in just a second. Okay, I did. Here we go, folks. I apologize. Here is the one that I forgot. Here's the location on the map. And you can see it, it is right here. The Lancer GL Relic. Pick it up so I get credit for it. And getting my regular Take Lancer back. Now, I do not know if playing a game, if you automatically get these relics, or if you have to have these relics, relics in your possession. That I'm not for sure about. Um, being there's 17 of them in the game. You know, you're supposed to be able to, you know, switch off with your characters. But I don't know if that's only certain parts of the campaign, because you see I'm getting no indicator, and I have done that before in the past. With Dell, but it's not letting me do anything. No indicators whatsoever. They're just turning the backs on me. So, doesn't make a difference what weapon I have. Well, that's a grenade. But anyway, we get two relic weapons on a skiff. So, we are good to go there. We have got all 10 relic weapons now. Also, at the end, um, I get done talking here. I'm doing my sign off. I will post a full size map that will show all 10 locations. You saw the two maps with the first 10 and with the three. Then I'll, I'll have, I got another map that I put together that will have all 10 markers on one map. I didn't want to use that and confuse people because you have to go through the um, gate before you have access to those three so until you go through that gate you can't get to those so that's the reason why I kept them separated okay folks here is the map I was talking about all ten locations scattered throughout the map including the things we unlock through the progress you can see the question marks you can see the crash site there in the lower right hand corner of the map I think in part 17 what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and go through and everything that's got a question mark, everything that we have unlocked, the cargo ship, the um, crash site, I'll go ahead and get all that stuff done before we continue on because sometimes as we saw in Act 2 when you get to a portion of the map they give you an option if you move forward you can't go back so anything that you did not do side missions objectives stuff like that you cannot go back and do and as I've, I've found out if you try to go back and do stuff it really messes up your game because I've been having major major issues where my objectives that I not objectives my um, abilities that I have upgraded 
are constantly being relocked. One time I locked it, I logged into the game, it had almost 60 components. I would never be running around with 60 components, I would use them. But what it did was it relocked almost everything that I had taken and and upgraded. So I had to go back and figure out, okay, what did I upgrade? Why did I choose to upgrade that? And so forth and so on. Because 60 components, you're talking about a lot of components. Um, did you use the smaller number ones? Or did you use some of the components that are like 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, components? So you had to think before you use, because yeah, you see that number 55, so, oh, I can do a lot with that. Well, yes, you can. No, you can't. So keep that in mind. Do not jump back. Keep progressing forward. The other thing is with this doing your relics, make sure you have pulse activated. Make sure you have the ability to detect detect I uh, forget what the other what the other word is they use, but basically so you can see the weapons and the ammunition on the ground. It'll it'll show a little V on it and it'll make it a whole lot easier for you when you're trying to find these relic weapons. Depend on where you're at, like if it's in the back of a vehicle or if it's laying on the ground in an opening and it's flashing, you might be able to see it. You take the Nasher, for example, up on that hillside. You could not see that weapon up there at all. There was foliage up there, weeds, whatever you want to call it. The hillside's dark. It was impossible to see that. But as soon as we used the pulse, we was able to see that. So it was a must that you use that. Feel free to take and download this picture. I'm going to upload this picture onto my Twitter page. So you can take it from there. Um, it's, it is a little isolated. It can kind of help you in a way by looking at it. But if you watch the video, it helps you a whole lot more because you can see exactly where you need to go. The picture kind of gives you a, a good area where to go. But the video shows you, obviously, exactly where you need to go. I think I'm also going to try to explore these dark areas of the map. Uh, if you look down there by the Condor site. Now, keep in mind, um, once you leave that first relic weapon at the cargo ship, and you proceed on towards the crash site, I left all that out for a reason it's going to be a little tricky getting back there that's all I'm going to say it's going to be a little tricky getting back there and um, just take your time if I can give you any advice stay to the outside do not go through the middle stay away from the middle if you notice if you look at the map you see how when I left the cargo wreckage Everything that's been opened, and you can tell an area that the map that's been opened because it's lit up. If you have not been to that part of the map, it's still dark. So you can see how everything is like on the upper edge and not on the lower edge. So then you can see where I came right underneath the train tracks. Then you can see there on the left hand side of the train tracks, that is all dark. And I stayed to the right upper edge to get to the Condor site. So I would like to like to inspect these dark areas to see if there's any hidden um, objectives there, because there very well could be. I, again, I don't have the book on this. I don't watch a whole lot of um, videos on, on exploring stuff like this. But there's another huge dark area. If you look towards like where it says Mr. Bulldozer, Look straight south of that, you got that white check mark and that Gears logo with the check in it. Right in between there, you can see some land and there is a large amount of dark area. That could be mountains, that's untouchable, but still, it's an area of the map that might be um, accessible, especially if you think about where that check mark is. It is right in that area. Maybe by going through that check mark will lead to the rest of that area and open it up. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's where we picked up the one weapon 
and there was um, some trucks or something parked outside of that location. But, ne but nonetheless, don't forget, down in the description, like, this is video 16, folks. And actually, I think there's actually a couple more videos on the channel besides um, 16 videos in the campaign. And there's still a bunch more to come. I'm only in Chapter 2. Uh, we still got, uh, let's see here. We're in Chapter 2, which is Rocket Plan. We still have Chapter 3, which is some Assembly Required. We have Chapter 4, which is one small step. Then we go into Act 4. Then you only got two of the um, chapters in there. And Chapter 1 is Homefront. And Chapter 2 is The Fall. So if you look at it, we have four and a half chapters left to go in the game. And my guess is closer and closer we get towards the end, they're going to get a little harder and a little harder and a little harder. Um, I've noticed that playing it when, you know, Chapter 1 or, or Act 1 was okay. Act 2, we had, uh, there was a couple fights that was a little harder than there was in Act 1. Um, but we'll get through it. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I will definitely help you out. I save all my videos, so if you have a problem in the area, can't get through it, let me know. Um, if I have played through that area, I will go back and check my gameplay and see if I can find out um, what your problem is and hopefully be able to give you a resolution. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.